Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. So which Dungeon Master screen is better? Is the original Dungeon Master screen better or the reincarnated Dungeon Master screen better? Today I want to compare the Dungeon Master screen for Dungeons and Dragons 5e, the original screen and the reincarnated screen. Which is better? Let's start off with the artwork on the front. Both have a very good image in the very, very middle of the screen. I know a lot of people think the original Dungeon Master screen is very cartoony and the reincarnated is not quite so cartoony and looks more lifelike. But to my way of thinking, I think the original Dungeon Master screen artwork is actually more in spirit with Dungeons and Dragons compared to the reincarnated screen. What I also noticed about the original Dungeon Master screen is it uses all of the panels. There's something on every single panel to look at. Whereas in comparison, the reincarnated really only has a decent image on two middle panels and not the outside ones. Here we can see the Barbarian being ambushed by Kobolds. Over here is the main party. The third art panel has a dragon and then we have Kobolds backing him up. I can't say the same thing about the reincarnated screen. When you look inside both Dungeon Master screens, what stands out, the original Dungeon Master screen has more artwork on the inside, which I don't think needs to be there. Both Dungeon Master screens have a lot of wasted space. So if we have a look at panel 1, the original has basically information for NPC creation and a name generator. I think more useful for an improvising Dungeon Master compared to a new Dungeon Master. Whereas, if you have a look at the reincarnated panel 1, this has combat actions perfect for a new dungeon master and a very tired dungeon master. And there's actually probably about three different aspects on here useful for any dungeon master, and that is the long jump, the high jump, and suffocating, which you usually don't use very often, but it's nothing anybody ever remembers. Panel 2 is exactly the same for both Dungeon Master screens, which I honestly think is good to have because conditions are something nobody ever remembers. Panel 3 consists of conditions for both screens, which is good to have, and then of course you have a whole lot of charts. Essentially the same charts just mixed around between Panel 3 and 4. Now don't get me wrong, something like DCs for skills is a good idea. Knowing what the skills and their associated abilities still probably a good idea to have there. Although, in this case, I think that panel 3 on the reincarnated version is probably the better screen. When you look at panel 4, there's mostly useless information on there. There is a great huge picture of a Tarrasque. Put that on the front, don't put it on the back. Something happens is a good idea, but it's a poor chart and I've never used it. The quick finds chart, I actually like the idea, I just don't like the things they've put on there. But things like damage level and severity and travel pace, really good idea. When it comes to panel 4, I prefer the reincarnated version. Whether I be a new dungeon master or an experienced dungeon master. Because I get travel pace, it's not full of artwork that's not going to be useful to me. The services I'm going to use, obscured areas I will use. I probably won't use encounter distances that much. I will use the cover rules. Although... Given enough time, most experienced Dungeon Masters will remember the cover rules, and that's not going to be a problem. Things like how light works, I don't usually use that very much. But things like food, drink, and lodging, I will absolutely use. And it's surprising how useful having a scale is for working out the difference between tiny, small, medium, large, huge, and gargantuan. The only problem with the scale is there's no numbers on the scale. If that had been there, that would have been perfect. So in my opinion, the better product is still the reincarnated Dungeon Master screen. Because it's good for a new Dungeon Master, still useful for an experienced Dungeon Master, particularly those who sit up very late trying to run their games. If you like this video and you want to support the channel so I do more videos like this, then you can support me on Patreon, the affiliate links to the book depository and Amazon that I have down in the description, my merchandise shelf underneath all of my videos, or just keep watching my videos, I get AdSense revenue from those. Make sure to share, like and subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.